And I like his bag. It's like there's like something squirming in there. Children. <laughs> and oh you know, I'm just gonna take a nap. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. It's reflecting my damage back at me, so I'm just stupid. Welcome back, Ragnarok Online Enthusiasts. My name's Amber. I play on the official international Ragnarok server, Chaos. And it is now another day of the seven days of Christmas in Ragnarok Online. This is day five, I believe. And finally, we are doing Horror Toy Factory. It's an instance that extends the lore of Ludi and the Toy Factory. You have to be level... What is the minimum level required? I forget. <laughs> oh, let's see. What level do you need? Ah, 140. And you need to be at least in a party of two, which is why I have my two characters here. I only end up using one character. Okay, so you saw where I was. I was on the Ludi map on the upper right hand corner. You just talk to the girl with like the skull face and go through her conversation. And then eventually you can enter the instance, enter with the first person. And if you're going to like use both of your own characters, then just enter with your second character and just plop her down right there. Uh, my ranger sat there this whole time and she did not participate. Um, my rune knight's level 150. I have pretty good gear and I was able to get what get through this with little to no issues. Um, this is actually my second attempt because the first time I died at the boss. So no spoilers, but you'll see what happens in this run at the end here. So you're going to talk to her to initiate the instance. And you're going to be using these employee uniform boxes. They'll transform you into a red cookie. And that way, cruisers, the horror cruisers, don't pop up and attack you. If you run around this place in like 90% of the instance... Um, as just your plain character, these horror cruisers will pop up and they will just annihilate you. Um, and there is a timer on this, like, costume and chant, so you do have to keep refreshing it. So keep an eye on your little buff that shows you how long you have left. So, like I said... After the introduction, you talk to the mist case that will transform you and you need to venture around and talk to other NPCs aside from the transformation mist case. Um, let's see. Oh, no, no. Sorry. My bad. We are killing monsters. That's it. That's literally all we're doing right now. Um, this is the first part. You just need to run around and kill. Kill, 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 kill. See, like, you can use all your skills as normal. No problem. I'm really overpowered for this. Um, not too bad. Definitely have potions on you, especially for the boss fight. This instance was a piece of cake, <laughs> literally, uh, until the boss things get really messy so make sure you're fully stocked I would advise potions for HP and SP because you're gonna be spamming later and also those those tokens of Springfield or something it's like a little orange leaf and it allows you to resurrect if you die uh, you can get like seven of them through the daily login reward and that saved my butt. I'll say that. Nothing more. <laughs> so there's the announcement. Uh, huh. Where's everyone? How dare workers be absent from the line because you've killed them all. <laughs> so I'm slowly walking back 
So basically, when you get that announcement, you go back to the beginning or let's see, let's see. No, you move to the northwest portion of this room to talk to the green cookie, but refresh your costume. You do not want that costume wearing off. So we are headed to the northwest part of the room to speak to green cookie. Um, you have, you actually have to be a red cookie in order to speak to him. Uh, if you are not a red cookie, he'll actually disappear on you. So you're going to talk to him and proceed. Okay, here he is. I did a little running around cause I couldn't find him, but he was on like the left hand side of like those main conveyors. So you do actually do need to transform into the mist case to go through. And then I think it's one of these. So these portals will open up as you progress through the instance. I think I was a little confused which portal. I love that squeaking sound. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which portal I need to go through. I think it's the north one. North or, or east. Let's see. Oh, definitely east. So you're going to go in from the west, go straight to the east. So now you're on the second phase. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Now you're going to speak to Catherine and you're going to talk to the Miss Case NPC again to change back to a red cookie. So this is similar to phase one. You need to stay transformed while venturing. Otherwise, the cruisers are going to spawn and annihilate you. Now, we are looking for 10 green cookie workers. Um, I'll probably skip through most of me doing this because it is tedious and I get stuck and I don't know where things are. Um, there are a lot of monsters attacking you, so you need to actually be killing things. You can get trapped in dialogue, so kill, unless you're overpowered like I am, uh, kill everything around you, then talk to your green cookie NPC. They are all over this area. Um, do not go back into the portal. They're not anywhere else. They're just in this specific like lower corner area and they are in odd spots. So run around, find your 10 green cookie workers and then all right, so you should have gotten an announcement that you are done. You go back in the portal you came from and we're going north. So in this room, we're going to encounter Santa and Antonio and they're going to have a little chit chat. So you're literally just going to sit here and wait for them to stop talking. Uh, oh, and by the way, this is the third phase after this is the boss. So we're almost there. So third phase after the conversation, Antonio is going to disappear and we're going to have to go and find him and kill him. <laughs> so let's see. I believe you go to the left portal if I'm not mistaken. Um, the guide actually says he could spawn in this room. Um, so in case you can't find him in the next room, go back in and check this room just in case. Um, but he will run away from you. So, oh, so you actually do have to chase him. So you have to run around like kill things that attack you find Antonio you only do one damage to him at a time and he has a set amount of HP so you are just kind of like wailing on him while he's running away um I'll show you in a minute but I'm able to kind of like corner him because he just runs into a wall and then I just wail on him until he's dead so well, let's go forward until I find Antonio okay we got him he's right there um, so I'm going to show you how I kind of like corner him 
Um, even though my dragon's breath only does one damage to him, it, it, like, it's nice because it can kind of hit him on a range and stun him and let you spam it, but I actually corner him against the wall that's just to the right. <laughs> he actually is kind of stupidly easy to, to take care of because he doesn't do any damage to you. So here, you're going to see he's going to run into the wall and... GG, my boys. That's it. And it's like, dang, I was so stupid. I, I like his bag. It's like there's like something squirming in there, children. <laughs> All right. There he is. Antonio is dead. That concludes phase three. Now you're on to the boss phase. I hope you're ready because it is crazy. So the boss phase, you're going to go into the right room here, I believe. Oh, and I love the music too. I was so disappointed in the beginning, like there wasn't any music. It was just sounds of like the toys, but I love this music. So let's go to the boss. Okay, oh, hey, we're in the boss room. You're just gonna walk over to the center. You're going to see our little skull face girl and then the puppet, which, oh my God, can we take a minute to just admire how cute this sprite is? She's so spooky and adorable at the same time. So you can see the items. I have some really good healing items, which, I don't really use too many of. I mainly am using the red syrups. I have yigberries, which help me a little later. And then um, I popped a pouring pretzel for just like extra stat damage. I'm an idiot and I didn't get um, the Eden group like VIP buffs before I came here. That might have helped too. Um, so about Celine Kimmy that you're going to fight. She is a large size ghost one property and undead race. She has a spongy max HP, 20 million to 66 million, depends on your party size. 20 million if solo, wait, you can do this solo? I didn't know that. <laughs> it wouldn't let me in without two people, it's bizarre. Um, she has high defense, high magic defense. So it's best to have high attack speed AOE skills to take her down. So I have HP stealing gear on, depending on the damage I do. As long as I'm consistently doing damage, it's going to keep healing me, which is why I didn't use that many potions. But later, she, I don't I don't know what she does. I think it's listed here, but she just like annihilates me, and every time I get back up, she just annihilates me again. So I think it was, she has the ability to cast max pain for 10 seconds at a time. While she is in this aura, all attacks will be redirected back in a wide, screen wide physical AOE. It's best to avoid attacking her while the aura is up. I was probably attacking her during that and it was just me killing myself. <laughs> I was, my, my heart was racing while I was doing this. Like I was in like a cause state of like anxiety like I gotta I gotta keep killing her I don't want to like mess this up again um let's see she also has a ton of other skills that power her up oh so if she's separated from her phantom the phantom will heal Celine for a large amount so you want to keep her and her phantom together and don't go too far from this center area because I think stuff will reset. So you want to kind of keep her here. She keeps pushing me around, so I was really glad that she like backed me into her corner. That way, like we're not moving all around. But you're gonna see that at some point something happens and I will die again. And luckily, I have those tokens to revive me. <laughs> and oh you know I'm just gonna take a nap 
I'm, I'm like, I'm waiting because I want to see. Because this is my first time re-watching this footage since I recorded it. Ah! Yeah. I guess it is true that... Yeah! That's what it is. It's reflecting my damage back at me. So I'm just stupid. And I kept doing it hoping that it would stop. There. And she's dead. There it is. It's not that bad. If you just know what she's doing. I was, if I would have stopped attacking her, I wouldn't have died like at all. But it's like hard for me, at least it's hard to know when that's going to happen. So just railing on her was just my way of, of dealing with it. So now we go back to the Santa and Antonio room. I'm trying to figure out how to get there myself here. Um, and it is the finish. You're going to talk to this girl, Catherine, and get all your rewards. So all of these packaged presents, each present has a specific chance to drop additional items along with those bloody coins. So there's like a chance you could get other things and it's like a set amount of items for each treasure, treasure box. Um, and then you can use these bloody coins to trade in to the NPCs that are right outside the instance for all kinds of different items and goodies. Um, so I think I end up going to the website because I'm like, what are these bloody coins even for? And then I'll show you what you do, but you're done. Like that's it, you finished. So after you get all your loot, you can go click on the portal and it'll transport you out. And congratulations, you finished. <laughs> so let's go look at the website to see what you can get for your bloody coins and what could possibly drop from these treasure boxes. Oh, real quick, I'm going to go over the loot that I actually got because <laughs> so there's like a lot of like um, item giver things like this closed mind box is an item producer. Yeah, I didn't didn't get a whole lot of good stuff and then like old blue box you know gift box old card albums mystical card album like i've never actually heard of that before but i wonder if it gives you anything different i use them both and i don't get anything good <laughs> so we never do get anything good from those do we work tooth not that bad i don't know how much it sells for um no gear but the etc we got some gold and silver bullions and then that's kind of it you know not too much but you have to keep running the instance for chances to get better drops and more of those bloody coins so now let's see what we can get with those bloody coins okay so here we are, bloody coin. It shows you the different NPCs and what they give. Um, one has some usable items. Those sweet canopies are really good healing items. They heal for a thousand HP, which is more than the red syrups. So I had those on hand just in case. They're very expensive though, as you can see. Um, some equipment, we have some headgear, <laughs> the Santa hairband. I thought Celine's ribbon looked really cute, but that's a thousand bloody coins and nine lush roses. I don't know if you need both of those, but oh, I want Celine's ribbon so much. Some other equips, I, I think I looked at the Noble Cross. I don't know that it's really that good past, like, first job class priest. And then you have, like, the enchantments. Here I am looking up the evil spirit glove. But, guys, that's... That's it. <laughs> um, sorry for the delay. Your girl got sick the past week, had a really bad severe allergic reaction, wound up in the emergency room two times, 
went on vacation, did not feel good the whole vacation. Today's the first day I've actually felt pretty damn good, which is why I sat down, recorded all this footage, and I'm finally getting these videos out. Um, there will be two more Christmas videos that I'll get out as soon as possible in Japan right now. Um, it's New Year's. So happy New Year's. I celebrated by going to Family Mart and getting myself some instant ramen. So I hope you enjoyed Horror Toy... I can't say that. Horror Toy Factory. And that's it for today. Happy New Year and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.